More trailer trouble. Formaldehyde may not be the only air quality problem in trailers purchased by FEMA for hurricane victims. For a look at what else may be lurking in a trailer that you may be living in, we go to WDSU's Ken Jones. He's in the CBD Live with what else we should look out for. And Ken, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Rupert and Helena. Air quality experts say formaldehyde in FEMA trailers might just be the very tip of the iceberg, saying that there are other contaminants floating around that are made worse by the simple size of those trailers. The formaldehyde problem in trailers purchased by FEMA may be bigger than first thought. People living in the temporary housing testified to congressional leaders that the formaldehyde fumes in the trailers made them sick. But air quality experts say it may be more than that. Like, say, you picked out formaldehyde, so that's the only thing we want to deal with. Mm -hmm. Well, that's wonderful, but what about all the other things that are in the environment? The National Organization of Remediators and Mold Inspectors offers education on air quality problems. Doug Hoffman is the executive gases. director. We've got gases coming from carpeting, <coughs> uh, from uh, the uh, fabrics, from paints, uh, from the household chemicals. The Not to mention pet, cooking odors, and other biological substances floating around. Hoffman says they're everywhere, but in a trailer there's one big difference. When you combine it into a little trailer, the trailer becomes almost a little petri dish of uh, toxicity. And Hoffman says the problems are not exclusive to FEMA trailers. People who buy motorhomes and RVs face the same kinds of problems. In fact, uh, they go into the home and their eyes itch, they feel kind of uncomfortable, and they're not altogether sure why. FEMA suggests people Light living in trailers open okay, their yeah. windows for ventilation. But Hoffman says high temperature and humidity will only exacerbate the problem. He suggests constantly running the fan on your air conditioner for ventilation. It would balance the, the uh, uh, air quality. It would also uh, take the, the uh, moisture out of the air because an air conditioning system is primarily a dehumidifier. And Hoffman says his organization also recommends a new technology that's been certified by NASA that literally oxidizes the air to clean it better and give it a better odor, or one at least that won't make you sick. However, he says that technology is still awaiting government approval for testing inside trailers. But now we're live on your side in the CBD. Ken Jones, WDSU News Channel 6. Time now, 6 so